Welcome back to the Novice Guide to iTunes series. After you've found something you want to purchase on iTunes, which I covered in the second episode of this series, you'll first want to note the price. This single by Coldplay is only 99 cents. It's just for one song. You can click on the arrow next to the artist's name to view complete albums from this person. Or you can click on the song to see the complete album. When you're ready to make a purchase, click on Buy Song. At this point, you'll be asked to sign in to either your Apple or your AOL account. If you don't have one, then you can click here to create one. When you do this, you can enter in your credit card information securely so you can simply purchase items in the future. I'm already a member, so I'll just log in and click on Buy. And now you can see here that I'm downloading that song into my iTunes account. If you want more than one person in your household to have their own iTunes account, then you can simply create a new one. Click on Continue, read the Terms of Service, and if you agree, check this box and click on Continue. Enter in basic account information, like your email address and a password. From there, you can simply enter in your credit card information. Now each person can pay for their own purchases. Remember, there are 10 parts to this series, so don't forget to check out the other episodes in the Novice Guide to iTunes series.